to office. I don't want to go to office. This year at Hemfield High School, iPads are now incorporated into the daily student routine, including the life skills classes. iPads became included to advance the use of technology throughout the classrooms and to evolve new teaching skills. They are helpful tools to teach the students both in and out of school. Uh, well, the students in this classroom um, all have a diagnosis of autism, and the iPad is very important to those students because it can give them a voice in situations where they may not want to or know how to communicate. The iPads have um, they've been helpful for the kids in my life skills class because they are teaching the kids a little bit of responsibility. They're, um, they're responsible for making sure they take them home and charge them and bring them back to school every day. But the iPads can cause certain difficulties, making it a challenge for specific activities and classroom instruction. A big problem that we have is the, um, the internet connectivity and apps or, or when the internet doesn't work. They can definitely be a distraction. It's hard for me to keep an eye on what everybody's doing while I'm trying to teach. Other things that have been a problem are kids that they forget their passwords and we don't set up the passwords so we can't help them get in if they forgot it. I think it's become easier. It's still a challenge because there's so much out there for the iPads. True or false, there are four oceans that touch North America. The life skills teachers use several apps and activities that are beneficial to the students in many ways. The biggest app that we use is Proloco to Go. We have a couple students who don't really speak much or they only speak one or two words at a time so that gives them a voice. We use Poll Everywhere. We use Kahoot a lot for reinforcement of what they're learning. Kahoot is an app that allows teachers to create a collection of questions specific to a topic and use as a study activity for students. We use uh, a math program called MobiMax. We do Kahoot a lot in class. We've tried quizzes. We do CNN student news but we do that as a group on the board, like in the front of the class. The iPads improve student participation throughout class and are a valuable piece to their learning process. Yeah, it's fun and you can work on your math and all that. It helps you to learn stuff that you need help with. The iPads uh, help students get motivated to be a part of the classroom. We definitely see more interaction and more um, activity in class with them when we do things with the iPads. Although the new iPads can be a challenge to some of the life skills teachers, they overall have a positive impact. For Hemfield Happenings, I'm Lauren Dagg.